Audacity is now possibly spyware. You know, without activation, you can't change your desktop wallpaper. You can't come in and customize your taskbar. You can't access any of this stuff here. You'll not be able to change to the dark theme, which is extremely important to me. Some of the other new features through Windows Update, you won't get. So you definitely do want to activate. Today's content is brought to you by BobKeys.com. This is where I buy my Windows 10 keys, and every now and then I'll snag a game or something, but I just bought my seventh Windows 10 key here for Windows 10 Professional. You're going to get 25% off the prices you see here using coupon code TS25. So this is Windows 10 Pro, 25% off that. You want Windows 10 Home? Also, if you want to get a bundle with Microsoft Office and Windows 10, you can get that got all kinds of things you know 2019 just lots and lots of things oh this is a double two pc after you purchase your key you just click up here click on user center you click on my purchased orders just click on view keys and codes then in the middle of the page you'll see your product key just highlight that you're going to want to copy this then press the start button on your computer and then type activate you'll see activation settings just go ahead and click on that and change product key paste it here then click next and you will be activated so again thanks to bobkeys.com ts25 head over there the links are all on the top of the description all right let's let's look and see what happened audacity was acquired by another company and they updated their privacy policy so let's just look at what they can do now they can collect data necessary for law enforcement litigation and authorities uh uh, request if any so they can they can collect data for law enforcement what what why why are they going to do that audacity there are alternatives luckily let me just uh, show you some of these alternatives first off we have dark audacity and if you've used audacity dark audacity is a, a just sort of an open source version of audacity it's based on audacity Cool Edit Pro 2 from back in the day works perfectly fine still. And I find it to be faster and stuff than a lot of other stuff, but it's a paid program. So this one's not a paid program. It's just like Audacity. I think it's from, I think the latest version is 2019, but that's plenty for most people. And if you're really familiar with Audacity, I would recommend grabbing Dark Audacity. But there's other options to consider as well. And I've got them all open down here. And we're going to, we're going to pop some of these things open and, and just check them out. Here's Dark Audacity. I have recorded a little sample here just so we can mess around with it. I <laughs> did it right before we started. But this is Dark Audacity. Uh, next up, if you're really serious, you, you're probably going to grab Reaper. Reaper costs a little bit of money, though. But one thing I'm going to say is no matter which program you purchase, or not purchase, which, no matter which one you download, which free program, um, even if you're not like a someone who's doing this professionally and you don't want to pay for Reaper, you can still download Reaper's plugins just by going to reaper.fm slash rea plugs. And these are some just really good free plugins for compression, delay, uh, there's good EQ, just, you know, all kinds of stuff. There's noise gate and stuff in here. These will also work with Open Broadcaster. They're, they're VST files, so they'll work with pretty much any of these programs out there. Um, so no matter which program you select, before we move on, go ahead and grab this package and you can install it I, you can install it to multiple different locations. It's a small, just bunch of DLL files that you can use. So grab this. It's really handy, regardless of which program you're using. All right, next up is Ocean Audio. This one has a bit of a more modern interface, similar features to Audacity. You know, I've just downloaded all these right now to see which ones, uh, you know, which ones are decent. And then if you want the most just simple thing on the planet, Wavasaur. I just like its name, but it's it's very uh, simple, I suppose. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. So this is Wavasaur. <laughs> I'm gonna put in my earbud. Uh, I'm not really talking making music, we're just telling people, if you're just joining us on here, we're just telling people that uh, Audacity now um, updated their terms of service. They're basically spyware. So we're just looking at some options. If you're someone who's used Audacity and you wanna move over to something else for recording your voice or anything else, but, um, there we go. I've just recorded a little wave here. Hello, how are you today? There we go. It works. Um, and if you go up here to effects, we got all this stuff. Start recording and stuff. Oh, there we go. Tools. So you've got your, just your standard stuff here. You can make loops or whatever. Come on, back over here. I haven't messed with this one too much. I'm probably not going to use this one because it's so basic. But if, it, if what you need is just so basic, then there you go. But let's take a look at VSTs. If you click on VST and go to VST Rack, Hey, it brings up our VST rack. 
Um, it found all of these because I did a, a scan. And you can just tell it the folder that your VSTs are installed in. So wherever you installed your VST plugins and stuff. Yeah, get rid of get Flagell and go now. Get rid of Audacity. Don't update it if you have an old version. Get rid of it and get something else. So anyway, there I've got all my VSTs. And then you can create a VST stack of all your different things here. What's this? Uh, what about me? Let me put delay in here just to make sure it's working. Where's delay? There we go. Okay, so oh, we got delay in there twice. Whoops. Let's do compression. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, then you double click and you can I'll give it a little bit of delay there. And then we have to apply that. So this works kind of like, you know, your cool edit pro or audition or something. Um, I've got, I built my stack and then I can go to options and or, um, where is it? Tools, tools, <laughs> tools, VST. And then I can apply the VST stack and it processes in there. Now we're going to hear it. You ready? Hello. How are Hello. you today? How are you today? Do a little test here. Do a little Do test here, videos. Brock. So there you heard the delay effect that I applied, but you can do that with compression, normalization, whatever. I guess I'll do dark audacity next. Hello, could I interest you in a resonance cascade? There we go. So uh, we can just, this one's really easy to use, you know, you highlight what you want. Get some effects here. There we go. We've got all our effects. You can add and remove plugins. Pretty easy. I've got my, my um, plugins, my whatever, all the stuff I installed from from Reaper, all in here. Cool. So this one's just really easy to use. If you've used Audacity and, and you just want basically the same thing, just get Dark Audacity and you can just turn off the video and I'll see you later. Uh, grab one of these things uh, on your way out the door. Goodbye. <laughs> Over at EpicPants.com. Goodbye. But yeah, if you're familiar with Audacity and you want to keep that exact, inter basically that exact interface, this is just what you use. All right, go ahead and minimize that one and go to the next one, which has a more modern interface. Slightly. There we go. Got our open files over here. We can have a stack of those. This is Ocean Audio. And this one works really well, uh, you know. Just click, give me that thing. Home button. Hi there, everybody. My name is Walter Omac. There we go. Let's just, uh, let's see if I can... I haven't messed with any of these things. What do we got? Can we can we dynamics process these things? No. Oh yeah, I want to do pitch. Let's make it sound stupid. All right, time and pitch adjust. Pitch stretch, semitones, optimize for speech, and let's bring it down. Let's see what that does. And I'm down here at the Walter Omax long car sales event. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. Let's see if uh. Does F2, F3 work? I don't know. Effects. Repeat last one. Control Y does the last one. So there we go. So there we go. Let's see what we got here. And I'm down here at the Walter Omax long car sales event. You want to buy a long car? You come on down to Walter Omax. <laughs> there we go. See, perfect. Uh, I, I like this one. It's it's easy. It's got a nice interface, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I'd have to, I think I'll play around with a little bit more and we'll see which one has more features. But I hope I've given you some options to get away from Audacity, because the audacity of a company that would that would give your information to law enforcement, and it says right in their terms of service that they're now going to give your data to law enforcement. They're back in the blue, y'all. Can't have that. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed that one. <laughs>